Bob Scratch. Walk me through, if you would, what happens scientifically inside our minds when we're in a state of fear, and then how that affects our external choices and the direction of our lives. This is well known and well researched in the psychological literature and the psychiatric literature that when someone is afraid, when someone is in a state of fear, that person cannot think rational. You resort back to a more primitive way of making decisions, which is highly emotionally driven. And when you're placed in a chronic state of fear, as we have been, you end up in a, what I would call a traumatized state, meaning that you're not just momentarily scared, you are frozen. You have seen your ability to think critically suspended. The issue is not about COVID or vaccines or anything else. It's not that. That is the polarizing impulse that gives rise to our general sense of ill at ease, which then amplifies our willingness to fall for reflexive classifications like race or, you know, the isms that we want to fight about. The more we can distract people by creating the illusion that says everything is fearful, the more we can manipulate the population. We were groomed for decades to be fearful, whether it was drop and cover. We must be ready all the time if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover. To protect against the threat of nuclear annihilation, or more recently, the impending ecological collapse of our planet in 12 years that AOC and Greta Thunberg keep warning us about. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. How dare you? All of these fears are grounded to some degree in reality. They're not completely invented but they are exaggerated so greatly that we cannot actually reason through them and not actually reason through them and not actually reason through them and not Bob scratch 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 scratch